Let me give you a few examples of people who were having a difficult time but turned things around by making these brain changes. Linda is from Denver, Colorado. She's a longtime seeker who's tried many personal growth approaches. She tried meditation because she heard it creates powerful positive changes, but it was more difficult than she thought and she had trouble sticking with it. Her progress was so slow that she wondered whether it was all a waste of time. She felt especially discouraged when personal issues she thought she'd mastered would come up again. Linda wants to be kinder and more compassionate and somehow to contribute to making a better world. She's followed several teachers but now feels a bit jaded since many of the approaches she thought would work didn't quite pan out, which caused her to be much less enthusiastic about the next new thing that came along. By changing her brain though, Linda's life finally did change. You'll see how as we go along. Tom grew up in Orange County, California. He came from a troubled family and experienced a lot of turmoil and trauma in his life. Because of this, he has several self-sabotaging emotional responses he wants to get rid of. He's often angry, sad, or depressed. He quite often lacks motivation and admits that what he calls internal demons continually grab his attention and keep him from going after what he wants. Though he doesn't let many people know this, he doesn't feel good about himself and he's afraid of what other people think of him. Sometimes he drinks and gets high to feel better even though he knows it's not a good idea. He desperately wants a love relationship, but it increasingly seems like it just isn't in the cards for him. He feels frustrated that something he had no control over, his upbringing and childhood circumstances, have left him so unhappy and stuck. He's tried a few things. He read some books about dealing with past trauma and he's been to a counselor or two, but with little to show for it other than a deeper understanding of why he has so much trouble. He wants to live a more normal life, have close relationships, stop being afraid, stop hiding emotionally from other people, and have a positive purpose in life instead of just managing how bad he feels so he can get through another day. Again, because these things were being created in Tom's brain, when he changed his brain, his life changed too. Finally, Mina is from Kent, Washington, near Seattle. Mina wants to be more effective at work or even start her own business so she can be in charge of her own destiny and have more freedom of choice. She studied success strategies, but putting what she learned into practice turned out to be a lot more difficult than she thought it would be. Despite her best intentions, she often fails to work on her goals or eat right and exercise, especially when she's stressed or tired or some more immediate need or obligation distracts her. She often feels as if there are just too many things to keep track of, not enough time, and no good way to get her head around everything she wants to have under her control. In her better moments, Mina makes lists, plans what to do, and resolves to take action. Then she feels frustrated that she can't seem to keep going and live up to her own ideas of who she wants to be. When she experiences a setback, it takes her a while to get her motivation and confidence high enough to try again. She worries that she'll never break through. She suspects that there's something she's missing that would bring it all together for her. As I said for Linda and Tom, because these things all originate in her brain, by changing her brain, Mina was able to finally create a completely different life. Now perhaps you can relate to Tom, Linda, and Mina, even though your own story may be quite different. The truth is, every human being experiences challenges, losses, and disappointments, and we all have unfulfilled aspirations. The good news is that the latest discoveries in brain science have given us a roadmap for creating dramatic changes in these and other life situations. As my good friend Dr. Daniel Amen says in his best-selling book of the same title, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life. In fact, this information has already changed the lives of well over two million people just like you who wanted to improve emotional and physical health, enhance mental abilities, reduce stress, slow the aging process, 
and increase moment-by-moment well-being. If you've said to yourself, this is just who I am and I'll probably always be this way, what I'm going to show you today will change your whole perspective and give you some real hope. The really good news is that changing your brain isn't that difficult if you know what to do. So let me make this promise to you. You can improve pretty much every area of your life and increase your effectiveness in pretty much everything you do. And by the end of our time together today, you're going to know how to do it. Let me describe this in another way, which I think you'll find helpful. What we're trying to do is to take how we feel, how we behave, which people and situations we attract or become attracted to, and what the events of our lives seem to mean off of autopilot, where we create these things automatically and by changing the brain, make them into a choice. When the wrong part of your brain is in charge, these four things, how you feel, how you behave, which people and situations you attract or become attracted to, and what the events of your life seem to mean, just seem to happen. And we often end up with feelings, behaviors, people, situation, and meanings we don't want. If the right part of your brain is in charge, though, you'll create these things consciously with awareness. You'll make better decisions. You'll see what you're creating clearly as you create it, including seeing the consequences. With a more aware brain, what was previously just happening on autopilot becomes a choice. And once you have a choice, you'll always choose what serves you and drop what doesn't. Awareness, which is a function of what part of your brain is running the show, creates choice. And believe me, living this way is infinitely better.